All right, here we go, y'all. Here we go. In three, two, one. Flap, 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 flap. Flap, 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 flap. I'm gonna hey. speed it up just a little bit. Hello, summer. I usually like to watch it at 1.25. It's so chilly these days that I've been having trouble leaving my warm, downy bed in the morning. But I'd never leave you out in the cold. That's why I, Faye, have braved the harsh wintry conditions to gather some exciting news to share with all you summoners. In the Get ready a bit. for a cozy helping of info on the Fire Emblem Heroes game to keep you warm. It's time for Faye. <sighs> yeah, there is something for summoning the right there. Please always, demote. There's a flurry of things to share this time around. Let's start. Here. Oh yay! It's time to announce the results of the oh. Chaser Legends Round Five of oh. Here we go. To all you summoners out there who took the time. Here we to go. Vote. The heroes this year, as chosen by you, are <laughs> these five heroes. <laughs> no! Oh my God! Versions of these four heroes are planned to be. You're kidding me! Oh, I can't wait to see how they look. Oh my. Next up. We'll be holding a series of events to celebrate the fourth anniversary of the Marianne and game. Gatekeeper. Thanks to the support of all you summoners, we've been able to keep things going for four whole oh, years. Oh, my God! We've got a whole lot going on to celebrate our fourth. This is February. 1st. Oh, this is the best timeline. <laughs> I can't believe he's getting the PRF skill. This is so funny. Everyone wins because Gatekeeper and Marth won. I cannot believe that Gatekeeper actually cooked. Marth out of that PRF skill. Oh, those are some nice rewards. Look at all those grails and those tickets. was that a ticket? Yes. Tell us. Oh shit. Oh god. Will be changed to this version. Also, it looks like ten of the tickets Wait, I showed you earlier. Wait, Sothis again? The Tempest Trials Plus Awards? And Ephraim again? The All the special heroes oh, I forgot about this. ...between February 1st, 2020 and February 1st, 2021. You can summon one into your barracks for mm. free. I forgot about this. Taking a color is never easy. Colorless does look the really good, though. Is determined by the color of the summoning... Colorless looks team. really stacked. So think hard about which color you want to summon on. Yeah. Next up... It's information on the A Hero Rises 2021 event. <sighs> we set up a special website where you can go to vote. Yep, and which we just did. Today, we've also got a little something special planned. Oh? The top four heroes in the voting gauntlet will be featured oh, yay! in a summoning event. Oh, that's What's so good. More, if you summon a total of 40 or more times on the event, you'll be able to summon one of these heroes for free. That's awesome. So even the heroes who don't quite make it to the top spot have a chance of making their way into your barracks. Oh, yay. I'm so glad. As that's really good. Myself, oh, shit. Here we go. This year, heroes from the Fire oh, God. Heroes game are participating in the Day of Devotion festivities. Oh, God. Looks like some familiar faces. I can't tell. And Embla oh, wait. Let's take a look together. I'm nervous. I must protect my people, even if it costs me my life. First up, it's Gustav. He's the king of Asker, and that makes him Alphonse and Sharena's father. He put his son Alphonse first in the war with oh, God. Her, the realm of the dead, as I recall. No, oh, God. I always thought Gustav was strict and a little scary. Oh my God. Oh really God. And loving bond that he shared with his son. What is he wearing? I'm Alphonse and Sharena's mother. Please, call me Henriette. Oh my god, her waist is snatched. Next, we have Henriette. She's the queen of Asker. Oh god. It, Alphonse and Sharena's mother. She always has such a cheery disposition. Oh my so goodness. I guess it's pretty obvious where Sharena's They look good. This festival brought my mother and father together. Nothing could make me happier. Oh the wow! Here's Alphonse. He's the prince of Asker and a steadfast member of the oh, Order of Heroes. Oh, he looks sure you lovely. That. Happy, he looks so happy to Please don't. Oh, he's another green unit. You know, Alphonse is always fighting to protect his people. Uh, I think he's now? well on his way to being a great king. Not somewhere. another green unit. The people I'd like oh, to Oh, not her. Bruno and Xander. Ugh. Moving on to another royal family, right. it's Veronica, princess of the Emblian Empire. It's strange to say, but she actually looks like she's in a pretty good mood. Who wouldn't be with all those flowers around? Maybe she's joining in the festivities to learn what love is all about. 
Okay. Blue. Bruno. Are we gonna get Bruno finally? Who is a Tempest unit? Or the Grill unit? Or Tempest unit? The day of devotion. A day to express gratitude to those important to you. This festival is not meant for us. We should go. But now Wait, so we already saw the demo. Who is a who is the Tempest trial unit? I wasn't paying attention. Gustav, Henriette, Alphonse, and the duo hero leaf will make an appearance in the Oh, Veronica is the free unit? Green is tempting. We're definitely gonna have to take a look at this again after this is over. Next up is Faye? Faye? What are you doing here? Is something wrong? Fei Fei! Fei Fei! Oh, look at you! No way! Next version update, summoners will be able to customize Ooh. themselves! You can set things up on this screen. Finally! In the summoner menu, you'll be able to set your name, your greeting when you visit a friend's castle, and more. Oh my god, that's so cute! You can change your summoner's appearance here. Wait, they're all just pre- Accessories that can only be worn by summoners. Oh, so I was hoping we would try some on. have Not more customization than that. Summoners will soon be able to join the battle against Thor's advancing army in Mjolnir's strike. It's not really so much customization as it is. Check this summoner out. Are they using Bradablick to fight? Ah, I'm so impressed by their skills on the battlefield. Fey Fey. This summoner's overcome all kinds of obstacles and grown stronger. Maybe this way. I didn't know you had it in you. Why does the map look so huge? This isn't the Mjolnir strike you're familiar with? No! I'm so glad you noticed. <laughs> I don't have much more on that now, but not to worry. You... We'll explain in detail at a later date. I don't have much more on that now. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to seeing Can you only use your unit in Mjolnir strike? Finally, I have so many questions. Oh my god, finally. The legendary heroes. Are we finally getting a refine? Go over some changes to legendary heroes that have appeared in the remix. Up until now, as well as legendary hero remix. If you didn't guess, legendary hero remix is a new type of summoning event. Oh god. Some of the legendary heroes that previously appeared in legendary hero summoning events will now begin appearing in Legendary Hero Remix summoning events instead. Oh boy. These Legendary Heroes will be appearing in Legendary Hero Remixes from now on. Not only are they appearing in a new type of summoning event, but I hear some of them will be able to learn additional skills. To start things off, Legendary Heroes Ike and Fjorm will be learning additional skills. Ike will be getting Radiant Aether 2 and Joint Drive Resistance. That means he'll be able to increase his and his There's allies' no resistance. And it'll be easier for him to use his special as well. Fjorm will be getting Ice Mirror 2 and Attack Defense Unity. She'll be able to reduce damage while dishing out even more steady damage than before. Wow. She'll be even stronger when she fights with allies at her side. Okay. Plus, All right. it looks like you'll be able to choose one hero to summon for free in this event after 40 summons. Oh. It's your chance to summon and aim for one of these legendary Ooh, heroes. Ooh, they're sweetening the deal. Tap. Tap. What is happening? What is going on right now? What are they going to introduce? Not Katarina. Fey Fey! I thought I'd summoned a four-star hero, but they turned into a five-star hero instead. What? I think I'm starting to understand how this works. N I'm not. The heroes that are available to be summoned this way are the five-star new heroes that appeared in the game up until August of 2018. Oh my. I bet you're used to seeing them in summoning event revivals, huh? From now on. These heroes will no longer appear in summoning events at 5-star rarity. The 4-star special rate will be available on summoning events that begin on or after February 4th. Basically demoting! It'll even be applied to the 4th anniversary hero fest I introduced earlier. A 4-star special rate and a 4th anniversary. How exciting! This is insane. That was so good! Wow! That was way better than last year's as far as controversy goes. Oh wow, there is a lot to dissect in here. Where do we even begin? Well, obviously the beginning actually. Hold on, all right. <gasps> oh, whoa. This is insane. Gatekeeper placed more than twice as many votes as Marianne and she won first place. 
This is so funny. This is insane. I cannot believe this. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. People are going to be mad. Okay. Uh, we already know about the free form of soul. Of course, everybody knew about this. Nobody's surprised. Oh, let's talk about this hero fest. So, like, this is interesting. What do you guys think about this? Like, I'm really glad that Shamir and Shinon are, are here. Like, I'm not surprised. I feel like Shinon or Flane would have been there. I think that Shamir makes perfect sense. Why did they bring back- I mean, I know why. They brought him back because he's the only dual unit that's not in the regular pool. But, like, Dusel would have made more sense? And then Sothis for the red? I don't know, that just seems so strange. Red could have been better. Like, Sothis, it really isn't in the best place? I, I, I don't know, like, I feel like... I mean, yeah, you could get another Mythic, but, like, I don't know. Seems a little strange. Dual Ephraim being limited to Hero Fest just seems like a really strange play to make. Maybe I, I might pull Shinon for some Deadeye fodder, but that that might be it, honestly. Uh, what else? Oh, that's right. Hold on. Oh god, so we have all of these units to now suddenly have to decide on. This is gonna be tough. I think I think that Colorless is probably the best pool, in my opinion, but like it's gonna be based on whatever your units you guys are looking for. Zayn and Colorless is gonna be some people's downfall. Yes. Faye's got sturdy impact. Dual Makaya is dual Makaya. <laughs> Enough said. Harmonic Mia. Dorothea is great. At least for me. Tibarn, definitely. Ethelin, definitely. I really don't want Zayn. <laughs> Zayn is the one unit that I'm really hoping to avoid. Dual Lin, already, you know, I've already mentioned that she's great. Um, Sephiran, not terrible. Good fodder, I guess. And Plumeria. Also got some pretty solid fodder. Just want Plumeria or Tiburn. I want almost all of these units. The only ones that I really don't want are Mia and Zane. I'd be okay with literally any of these. Hero Rises. What is next? Oh, the banner! Okay, I knew some of us were suspecting an Asker Emblem theme. I think some people mentioned it because we weren't getting a Tempest Trial Focus unit banner. Um, oh god, this, this is... Oh god, we gotta talk about each one of them as we as we go along. <sighs> Ooh, those arms. Okay. Although I really don't like the costume. <laughs> I really don't like the costume. <laughs> Henrietta is a thick mom. Is she... She looks good. She looks good. That waist is cinched. Oh my god, it looks good. What color is Henrietta? Red? Or... She's red, yeah. Alphonse looks very lovely, I think. It's a little strange seeing so much leg from him, I'm not gonna lie, but, uh... It looks good. I really like his artwork. Why are we talking about Sharina? Oh my god, you're right, Yee Yee. They really... There she is! <laughs> there she is! I like that they made him a tome unit. I hate that they made him a green unit, though. It's weird that they made Veronica the free unit. That seems very strange to me. But she does look good. Her artwork does look quite lovely. The Alphonse has Bold Fighter. Wait. Oh, that's such a deal breaker. An Armored Mage. They're not unheard of. We, it's been a while since we've seen an Armored Mage. I don't think we've seen an Armored Mage since Halloween Eliana. I think that was the last time we saw one. Winter Tharja. Valentine's Lynn is another armored mage. It's been a while. They're not very common. I'm really sad. Oh, I really wish he wasn't an armor unit. They did not have to do that. Veronica's a cav unit. I'm gonna- if, if Alphonse is armored, then I'm certain that these two are probably armored as well. I hate that they make the- that they made Leaf cavalry and they made Alphonse armored. I hate that. It's like what they did with Winter Altina, making her an infantry unit and making everybody else armored. Man, they really disowned Sharina. The customization looks really interesting. I am a little bit underwhelmed, though. I mean, it's definitely better than nothing. It's just like, you can't really customize it. These are just like, templates that were already made. We have six templates. Three males, 
three females, and there is not a whole lot of variety in the skin tones. We've got this guy that's slight, that's definitely darker, but that's it. We've got <laughs> pale and paler. It's, it's a step in the right direction, I guess. The lack of black hair. Oh, you're right. There is no black hair. There is dark brown. There is brown. And then there's white. <laughs> For some reason. And it's like men can't have red hair, I guess. But only women can have red hair. And only women can have blonde hair. I don't know. Better than nothing, I hope that we get more options later down the road. You can set your name and the greeting, which is really, really cute. I think people were asking for this for a while. I'm mostly curious to see what the whole copy mechanic is. Wait, 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 look at that, look at, look at that, hold on, hold on. Right here at the bottom right. Heroes from which skills are copied will not be affected as a result of having their skills copy. My summoner is a colorless tome infantry unit. Cool. Ike and Fjorm are getting... Not, I don't know if they're necessarily refines, but they're getting new skills. What is Radiant Aether 2 at the start of turn 1? Oh, Grand Special Cooldown Count minus 2. Treats foes defense and resistance as if reduced. Okay. Restores HP equal. Okay, so it's literally just Aether plus the Special Cooldown Count minus 2. Nice. Joint Driver, as we know what this does. It will definitely help him tank better. So what is Ice Mirror 2? If foe is two spaces from unit, reduces damage from foe's attacks by 40%. After triggering, boost damage. Oh! After triggering, boosts damage for unit's next attack by 40% of the unit's res. Does Fjorm have good resistance? And if so, why did they give her attack defense unity as opposed to attack res unity? if her special wants her to have high res. Fjorm's resistance is 34, so it's decent. It is decent. Yeah, I guess for the mixed bulk. It could be better, I suppose. That's crazy though. So wait, they, we're getting new skills and upgraded versions of skills, but like we're still not getting a weapon or a thine. This is so interesting. What are they doing? Fjorm might have new skills, but there is still dirt on her cape. <laughs> it's true, it's true. Homegirl can't get to the laundromat soon enough. This is so complex. I'm like, do I want to finally build my legend? I mean, my legendary Ike is built, but he's unmerged. So I'm like, do I want to finally go in and try to get merges for him after all these months and years? I don't know. And then there's this. So we're getting an extra rate tacked onto each summoning session, I guess. So this is a rate completely separate from the other, the four star focus rate. If a 5-star hero is summoned at the 4-star special rate, the 5-star appearance will not decrease. Great, so it's not a pity breaker. Won't be it's not a pity breaker. The heroes that are available to Let's look at this. Lin, Lucina, Ryoma, Azura. Okay. Hector! Nice. Takumi, Leo, Elise, Tiki, Ephraim, Julia. Okay, Eldigan. Wait. That's not Eldigan. That's not Eldigan. Who is that? Is that Eldigan? That, that is Eldigan. <laughs> Thank you. I'm like, I don't recognize. Who is that man? Eldigan. This way are the five star new Ulm, Faye, Ike, Mist, Jenny, Celica, <gasps> Gray, Delthea, Saber, <gasps> Sonia. Oh my god, Tana. I, there's so many. New heroes that appeared in the game up until August of 20. Roy, Lynn, Lu Brave, Lucina. Oh my god. There's so many. Shiro. Zelgius. Basically what happens is that on each banner now, there is a four, four star lucky rate. It's a separate rate. These units basically demoted without actually, while still being five star units. They have their own separate rate, which is really nice. The only drawback to this is that they just said that these units are no longer going to appear on a revival banner. They are no longer being featured on revival banners. So, in a way, it's like gonna be harder to snipe for individual units because unless they are featured on a banner, you're kind of just gonna have to hope that you can get them through a regular summoning session. The good news is that it seems like they're available on every banner, I think. They haven't quite specified which banners they're available on. I'm 
hoping and assuming that these are available on all banners though, but we don't know. They didn't really say. These heroes will no longer be summon summonable as five star heroes unless they are five star focus heroes. There we go. Damn, that was really nice. Let me go back to just chatting. That was very nice. It really is nice demoting and not having to spend feathers to build the units. I agree. I real I agree. I'm very excited about that change because there's quite a few units on there on that list that I actually really would like to build. Which old units are you going to be looking for now? So definitely regular Ike, definitely Brave Ike, Tana, Shiro, maybe Hector. I, I could always use just encounter fodder now. Gray. I really would like a gray. Would not be opposed to a Takumi. There's some really nice units that, like, I wouldn't go out of my way to summon on a focus banner, but I would love to have and get merges for. Okay, so it's definitely uh, the War Arc Marianne that won first. Congrats. Congrats to all the Marianne fans. I cannot believe that she pulled through. I'm so happy for her. Oh, Marianne taking first. I'm so happy about that. I'm so happy about that. Erica. Congrats to Erica. Byleth. Oh, yeah. Erica pulled through with uh, over 6,000 votes. Very nice. Oh, Bernadetta didn't place nearly as high as I thought she would. 12,000. Byleth doubled her nearly. Like, over more than that. Oh, wow. Corrin was much further behind than I thought she would be. 8,600. She didn't get nearly as much support as I thought. Hilda. Robin. Henrietta coming 8th. That is very surprising to me. Azura. Tharja. It's so interesting. This The Tharja from Awakening is so different from the Tharja we have in Fae. It's so interesting what they did with her character. Um, Alright, so that was the top 10. I don't have a whole lot to say about the women in the top 10. I'm more curious to see who's in the, the other, in the top 20. Dorothea. Nice, and it's of course the war arc. Th Tharja always makes it a top 10. I didn't realize that. That's kind of funny. Rhea, not entirely surprising. Plumeria, also not surprising. I believe Plumeria was in top 10 last year. Loot, was there actually a loot bot? Loot coming in 14th place is so funny to me. That's really funny to me. Tiki, oh, adult Tiki. All right, she made top 15, good for her. Constance, oh, I can't wait for us to get the Ashen Wolves banner. I do prefer their time, uh, their pre-time skip designs though. I like their academy designs a lot more than their post-time skip designs. So I hope we see more of the the curls for her. Did Kaskar go up or down? I'm not sure. I haven't really been tracking that. Give me Constance and Balthus. That's what I'm looking for. I would love to see the Ashen Wolves banner. Nino, good for her. Ingrid getting top 20, good for you, good for you. More blue lines, please. Mia, always very surprising to see Mia so popular. I liked Mia, I just don't, I didn't love her though, and it's so interesting to see her play so highly. So this, nice, top 20. Good stuff, good stuff. So of course, gatekeeper, congrats. He actually, it's so funny to me that he literally scored more than double what Marianne scored. That's crazy. Yeah, almost 30,000 more votes. This is amazing. Martha actually got destroyed, yeah. Krom, nice. Byleth, Felix, okay, I'm not entirely surprised by what we see so far. Um, Yuri placed much higher than I thought he would. I know he's the house leader of the Ashen Wolves, I just didn't know he was that popular. He's personally my least favorite of the Ashen Wolves, but good on him for placing well. Robin, okay. Dudu getting top 10, followed by Ash. I love that. I love that. I cannot believe what I have witnessed here on this evening chase. <laughs> oh my god. I know, I'm so glad that Dudu placed highly. Oh, I hope that they treat him with the love and respect that he deserves. I know that it's a popularity contest and I don't like to think that units deserve to get in because it's all based on popularity. It just feels very unfair to me that he's so far the only retainer that hasn't gotten into Faye because we obviously already have Hubert. Hilda sort of, you know, she's in the game. Hilda's gotten two alts. Um, so it, I'm really glad that Dudu is hopefully gonna finally get into the game. This, thoughts on the class types for winners? Gatekeeper has to be a Lance unit. like. He has to be a Lance unit. 
Marth will probably be sword, and then who's Marianne is flexible. She's typically a tome unit. And then who else is Erica, who would probably prefer to be a sword unit, but will probably be a magic unit as well. I'm assuming the lance, sword, and then tome, tome, and then what? Um, I don't know. I guess Erica could be colorless? Or no, really, they should make Marianne. Oh, Marianne could be a staff unit. Oh, they could give us another staff unit. That'd be fun. And then Erica would probably be a green tome. That's how that's how I could imagine it going. Um, where were we? Robin to do Ash. I'm so happy Ash got top ten again. Oh, I hope he gets in. I only threw one vote to Ash this year and I was worried, but I'm so glad that he's still in top ten. That's my boy. Salif, also glad to see Salif in top ten. For all the genealogy fans, I hope that this bodes well for Salif, even though he still hasn't gotten an alt, aside from his legendary. Soren. Um I don't particularly like Soren, but I know that he tends to score well and he's still a popular unit, so good for him. Um, Sylvain, I see that he fell out of the top 10. Okay. Itsuki, that is a very, that is not a flattering portrait of him. Why would they do that to him? Alphonse placing 14. That's kind of odd to me. All right. Sigurd, okay. Linhart, that's also strange to me. Takumi, that's also strange to me. This is all very strange to me. <laughs> Black Knight. Black Knight is, I'm surprised that Black Knight placed highly, but not Zelgius. Caspar getting 19th. Okay, that is something that 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 makes perfect sense with my fantasy. In the words of uh, Valentina, this makes one, <laughs> this makes sense with my fantasy. I would love another busted CYL staff unit. Me too. And it would be really cool if they made Mariana a, a cavalry unit, because then we could have Dorte in Faye as well. I would love to see Dorte in as well. The remix banner got revealed. You're kidding me, Mel. Legendary heroes who are eligible to learn additional skills will no longer appear in normal legendary mythic hero summoning events. Thank you, Mel. But will instead appear in legendary hero remix summoning events. There they are. Grima, Bernie. Okay, Bernie is apparently a legendary slash mythic unit. All of a sudden, Anna, Apotheosis. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Legendary Lynn, Legendary Hector, Male Chris. Huh. Wait. So only Fjorm and Ike are going to be getting the new skills? Not the other units? What in tarnation? What in tarn- What? <laughs> I guess they will slowly make them get some? Yeah, I guess so. But it's like, why bring them back? Like... Unless you're intentionally pl trying to summon for Lin or Hector, like what reason would you have for going in? Red it is. Red is, they, oh yeah, they made red and blue really nice. Blue is really nice because of Ana, and red is really nice because of Chris. Those are some really great units. If you want spurn fodder, this is a really good banner for it. If you want spurn and joint drive attack, this is a very nice fodder, a uh, nice opportunity. Ike now has Joint Drive Res, Chris has Joint Drive Attack, Ana has Joint Drive Speed. We're just missing Joint Drive Defense. This is a really great banner. This is a really great banner. It's confusing, for sure, but it's a really nice banner. I'm assuming that the remixes are going to have four of the old Legendary as focus, and then fill the rest in with random units like they do. You're totally right. This is kind of tempting, because now I'm thinking to myself, I have my legendary Ike, and he's unmerged. And I, for the longest time, I wanted to build, I wanted to plus 10 him, because he was my one of my first units, and we've gone through so much together, and I've already given him special spiral. So I'm like, hmm, you know... I could summon for him, and like, if I get pity broken by a Chris, that's spurn and joint drive attack fodder, which is really nice fodder. Um, I don't know. Maybe I should summon. I wasn't plat. I mean, I don't have many orbs, but I'm tempted now. But if for anybody that wanted to plus 10 Grima or Legendary Lin or Hector, now we know that these units are going to be getting upgrades really soon. So many bait banners this month. I know. And like Legendary Lin and Legendary Hector both have really, really nice art. So I'm like kind of tempted because I have a Lin and I have a Hector and I've like kind of dreamt about building them, but they have such bad stats and bad skills that I've abstained away from it. But this is kind of tempting. 
their intent was to make older units desirable and so far it's actually working on me at least it's it's working for me <laughs> legendary ike is no longer canceled <laughs> no longer cancel i'm so glad i did not fodder off my ike like i was very tempted to do i can i'm so mad they made alphonse an armored unit i shouldn't be surprised because they always do this on the valentine's banners but i i'm just i'm still annoyed <laughs> I'm still annoyed. <laughs> Good stuff. Well, yeah. Interest. That was a lot. They dropped a lot on us, y'all. They dropped a lot. Let me go back to just chatting. And they demoted Celica and Alm and Gray and Jenny and Sonia and Saber. So many Shadows of Valencia units have been demoted, which is really nice. Interesting banner. I'm probably going to pass on the Valentine's banner. I need to see what skills they have to see if they have good fodder, but I'm probably going to pass. But congrats to everybody who really likes him. The dual art kind of looks weird because, you know, dead people wearing white clothes and they don't smile. That was what I thought. That's literally what I was thinking. I think the artwork looks a little strange, a little bizarre, but okay. Don't love the fashion choices, but it is what it is. It's a toga party theme. That's that's really what the theme is. Valentine's is now toga, a toga party that everybody but Sharena got invited to, apparently.